All right. Awesome. Uh, welcome, everybody. Yes. To Bacon is my podcast. This is What's Your Bacon is Seven Questions. Bing. Bing. Yes. Today, we have definitely maybe. Yes. Hey, Chicago, Chicago natives. Uh, Chicago, Chicago-based pop punk band. Uh, you can check out the, uh, the original EP, Better Off on Done, but there's new singles, Are We Having Fun Yet?, which has a sweet video you can check out. Uh, as well as I Don't Sleep at Night, which is out um, on all streaming platforms. Check all that stuff out. Uh, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Hey. hey. So good. Thanks yeah. for having us. Nice. Yeah. Well, well, welcome. What we've done here mm -hmm. is we have uh, we have distilled every question uh, that, that you could possibly think of to ask someone to get to know who they are. Uh, and we threw a bunch of them away, and we ended up with seven. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more. But, but seven, depending for sure. Um, so what what these questions will do is is they will uh, they will go spelunking into the nooks and crannies of your English muffin. They will oh. uh, they will they will find the creamy center of your Oreo. They will mine into the depths. Right, we're gonna cook you guys down and yeah. make you into a very fine sherry sauce. Mm. Yes. Mm. Wow, yeah. that was. And beautiful. then we will drizzle you on something. Yeah, I don't know what it'll be, but we'll figure it out by a the full end. on episode. That's that's what we could do. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah. You boys speak in poetry. Yeah, that was that's, amazing. That's, that's what we do a, here. That's what we do here. He's he's a singer. I'm a singer too, that's, but I'm I was gonna say, what's what's he's a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he's a singer. Yeah. He's a <laughs> but uh are you guys ready? Let's do it. For ready the to seven go. questions of doom. Yes. Of doom. Uh First off, let's get everybody's name um, and uh, and what you do in the band, just so anybody listening can put a, if they're not watching and they're just listening on, on one of the streaming services, they can put a voice to a name. Cool. Nice. Uh, my name's Ian Harsh. I uh, play guitar and write a lot of the music, um, and, you know, the instrument stuff uh, in the tracks that you guys hear. I'm Courtney, and I'm the singer and the lyricist. I'm Sawyer. I play bass and mainly produce some of like the original demos and tracks that we do. Nice. Nice. Awesome. All right. All right. So if you guys are ready, question number one. Now you if you if you can, if you're like all three of us are going to answer on on the like the count of three, don't do that because it's chaos. Everybody <laughs> cool. Take your time. Okay. But, but don't wait too long. It's a short show. It's, this is promo. Yeah. <laughs> question number one. Guys, how many pillows is too many? Oh. Let's go in the same order. I have an answer. I feel like four is definitely too many. I'm gonna say person. I'm gonna say three. Yeah, yeah, I'm three as well. Anything so more two, than two? Who's my max? Two's good. Three's egregious. So Three's four. Yeah. four is no way. Okay. Okay. Are you guys like uh, head legs snuggle? Are you two head because of singer reflux and then? <laughs> And then pillow on the floor in case you fall. Like, what's what's the what's the setup? <laughs> Generally, I'm one pillow under my head, and that's it. But I used to do the pillow between the legs, and that was super comfortable as well. Yep, same. Yep, same. Awesome. <laughs> All right, question number two. I'm excited because they are Chicago based. We are we're in New York, mm -hmm. so yeah, oh! we could uh, we could clash on this for hours if we yep. wanted. Well, but, but actually. I'm a go-between. Right, I'm we're, from, we're I'm from Indiana, so I spent a lot of time in Chicago, yeah. and then I've lived in New York longer. So, and I do, I do. I'm with you guys, I'm, but I'm in the room with you. Right, right. He can hit me. He, he has to live with me. That's <laughs> true. So, <laughs> true. I guess I guess uh, see him all the time. But no, no, no. I, 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 I certainly give it its flowers. But <laughs> guys, question number two is this: What is the perfect pizza order? Oh, yeah. I mean, my Probably like Desert Island pizza would be Detroit style. Um, Detroit style is pretty sweet. And yeah. I think, like, I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, besides the cheese and the sauce and the bread, pepperoni, and if I want to get a little funky, green olives. Oh, okay. Nice. All about the salt. Green olives, huh? That's a mm -hmm. that's a out of the yeah. box. All it right. goes with pepperoni really well. If you like pepperoni and you're not scared to try green olives on pizza, just do it now. You're going to love it. Okay. Right. Salty right. slice. Um, I have a very salty grape, right? Salty grape. <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, I I don't eat dairy. I'm one of those girlies, so no cheese for me. But we just played in Detroit for the first time, and I had a vegan 
supreme pizza from a place called Grandma Bob's. And that was the most flawless vegan slice I've ever had in my life. Nice. nice. Sorry nice. to block theme on Chicago deep dish, but it's Detroit style. No, that's, all, that's all good. That's all good. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I want to say Detroit style pizza as well. <laughs> You're about to get kicked yeah. out of the city. Uh, yeah, the, the, the crust is where it's at for the Detroit style pizza. Like, I like the the burnt like cheese at the at the ends. So that's my favorite. Nice. Yeah, the burnt cheese around uh, Detroit style is pretty bagging. Oh yeah, for sure. That's that's a solid. That's a solid choice. None of them pick Chicago pizza. That's okay. No. You know, just just be like we the beef sandwiches. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now hot dog girly. I, I wouldn't hate on deep dish. Hot dogs too. Right. I love pizza in all forms. That's true. Uh, yeah. This was right. the this was asking for the best. So. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and I will say, uh, Courtney, the Daya cheese. Mm -hmm. They've been doing some pretty solid stuff with uh, with cheeses. Hell lately. yeah! They actually just reformulated stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, it's probably gonna kill me, but it's good. Did it they works. eliminate the sawdust? Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it melts like regular cheese. So. Yeah, that's, oh, that was the problem. No yeah, with the 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 first generation of uh, the fake cheese is that it never melted. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's, it's just there. sawdust. It was like packing <laughs> stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's melting. It's yet. like the stuff they sprinkle on vomit in high schools. I made yeah. some pretty yeah. sweet nachos yeah. with those the other day. Mm. So let's go. Nutritional yeast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's yeah. good. I've used it on stuff. Like it's it doesn't taste bad, but it's just the they should name it something else. Yeah, yeah. the concept yeah. is gross. Yeah. Would you enjoy some nutritional yeast? No, I would not. You need to surprise me with that shit. You can't be asking me about that. That can't be an offer. <laughs> <laughs> that, that needs to be a you know what you liked in this a little ny all right all right a little ny question number three true or false question this time cereal is a soup mm, true false true wow we've got a house divided a house divided it's usually oh. how it goes it's done in me <laughs> I mean, is there a reason why? It, uh, why well, it's false? Since, yeah, since we're divided, since defend your choices. Uh, false because it's sweet, and not that a soup can be sweet, but a cereal can't be savory, in my opinion. Um, and it's also served cold, which soups can be either, but cereal cannot be served hot. Oh, oatmeal. Mm, oatmeal. 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 You're not going to put oatmeal. Oatmeal. Is oatmeal cereal? It's in a bowl. It's wet. Oatmeal. It, it's like it's a hot cereal. It's yeah. technically considered hot cereal. It's hot cereal and cold cereal. I work for Quaker, so this is a, you found the right person to talk about your oats with. <laughs> there we go. Well, like, aren't those? There's a bunch of cereals that aren't sweet. You know, like puffins, <laughs> like or like so those, like sweet. like the uh, the wheat. This is so sweet. Things the yeah. big the big like building blocks. Yes. <laughs> wheat, right? Wheat. Shredded wheat, shredded wheats. Yeah, wheat. wheaties and stuff. Those aren't sweet. Those I I don't know. I I would go so far as to call them savory. Well, right? like the They're cereal and the sweet. milk is sep like separate things that come together. Right. Soup is just like the one thing. I guess that's a good point. Yeah. yeah, like all the ingredients of a soup tend to be cooked together. Am I converting you in real time to my answer? Well, I, in I fairness, the only reason that I said true is because I couldn't really think of a good reason to say false. I gave you a few. So something. Well, we also with. we also have a cream based broth with a wheat, rice, or uh, or oat based noodle. Mm -hmm. mm. Served cold. I ain't never had no <laughs> oat based noodle, but I'll take your word for I've it. I've seen I've seen those oat cereals. I've seen that happen. Yeah, yeah. I reacted true. Honey bunches of oats. Mm. Right, which is delicious. So good. For sure. Well, and oatmeal. So is, you have had an oat cereal. Oatmeal is cooked with the milk. Right. Or the water. Yeah. Hmm. I will tell you. We'll never know. We we hold no allegiance. To, oh yeah, to we can be side, we can be so swayed either way. way. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> right. 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 If you have a good argument, I'll buy it. Right. <laughs> He'll buy that for a dollar. Mm -hmm. All right. It's on the Qu internet. It's true. Exactly. Question number four: Gift cards, lame gift idea or great gift idea? Oh, I'm so back and forth on that. Bad. I would say bad. Because they always get lost. And yeah, that, that would be my answer. They get lost. That's we haven't had anybody say that because that's true. It could be a great gift. You could be excited about it, and then you never find it again. Do you lose money regularly? I mean, if it's on a gift card, it's like it not <laughs> somewhere. Huh. I mean, yeah. like it's always lame, but 
like if you're gonna give one don't give a restaurant gift card like give something with an online store because like then you can just you can put the code in and it can sit on a balance somewhere and you'll just use it the next time you shop. But like, yeah, if it's a restaurant gift card that you can only use in person, I, when am I going to have that with me? I don't have a massive wallet. Right. Ah, that's a good point. Too. Great point. Also, that is a great point. I still have gift cards from like 10 years ago that I've never used that I know exactly where they are, but they're never with me when I think to go to that place. Here's my thought. If I'm giving Ian a Christmas gift and I give him $25 cash, he can do with it whatever he wants. But if I put that $25 on a gift card to Guitar Center, that shows that I know what he's interested in and I want him to spend it in a specific place for a specific thing because he wouldn't do that for himself, hence it being a gift. So I think gift cards show an extra layer of knowledge of the person and can mm -hmm. be really strategic. I do think they can be a cop out, but I think when done well, they're a great gift. That is the answer. That's, My thoughts exactly. That is the answer cards. we always talk about. Yeah, that's we, we yeah. always bring up we always bring up musicians too because it's like yep. I I remember when my mom picked out a guitar strap for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. would have just rather had a gift card. That is the best possible <laughs> example. Like yeah, if you know somebody has like a hobby, like uh -huh. like I'm getting into Force coffee to more do and it. stuff. It's like chances are you're not going to know what's on the top of my wish list for right right stuff. Like so that makes total sense like yeah that's the and most how many grinders can you have a lot <laughs> so you're to it really you're to i think it well my answer was it tends to be lame i don't know about a, a bad gift yeah. but it tends okay. to be lame yeah okay okay all right but if you do know a touring band like uh fans if of uh, definitely maybe if they're going on the road or something like that and gas you wanna, cards and you want to send them gas good. cards or something like that see probably a great gift yeah that's Ooh. dope yeah it can also be a really smart gift if you know somebody's bad with money, so you know that they can only spend it on that thing. Also a good thing, yeah. For example. Somebody with a gambling problem? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh -oh. That you, go, you go, you go uh-uh. Put chips in a $100 gift card down. Not today. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I'd love to see that at a craft table. Right. Just like an Amazon gift card. This, is, this is an Amazon <laughs> fresh card. <laughs> He will not be gambling with this. I still stand by, though, that, that it, it is mostly a lame gift. Because even if it's a smart gift, the person receiving it is probably not excited that, like, oh, a gas card. That's great. I don't yeah. know. I'd be pretty excited. I, I will say I've gotten a gas card before going on tour before, and I was very excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. like, oh, my God, that's that's an extra 50 bucks that we have mm -hmm. yeah. to, do, to do something something else else in this town. Yeah. So that's so definitely definitely send definitely maybe some gift cards. Yeah. All right. Uh, question number five. What number is Mike thinking of? Ooh. Three. No. <laughs> Forty seven. No. Mm. Uh one oh one. Question number six. What is your go to jukebox pick? <laughs> oh. Mine is all over the place. Oh boy, oh, I have too much social anxiety to go to the jukebox at all. <laughs> <laughs> my pick would be to not pick. Try uh, staying alive, honestly. I feel like nice. that's, that's a good one. Staying alive. Yeah, it's just like a classic juke jukebox. Yeah, that's like, a good one. Gonna be in there, you know. I feel like if someone looked at me and were judging me just based on my appearance, they would guess that I'd put on Mr. Brightside. <laughs> Not a bad choice. You're yeah. not gonna find. You're not gonna find. Like that's not everybody in the bar is gonna like it, but I don't think anyone's gonna hate it. And everybody's gonna know yeah. it. And everybody's everyone's gonna, gonna know, know it. it. And everybody, even the ones that don't really like it, are gonna be like, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. "Can't be mad at this." Coming out of yeah, they, <laughs> I'm the guy that like you probably shouldn't give the ox cord to because it, it, it uh, there's My no man. it can be all over the place. So uh, what I can't give you is a definitive like go to jukebox pick, but what I can give you is what I might put on right now, okay. which would be "Drink You Away" by Justin Timberlake. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. I like that. Solid choice. Yeah. JT. All right. Well, here we are in the Tennessee. We've made it. Question number. We have, seven. we have made it to question number seven. Yes. The uh, the fun part of question seven is depending on your answers, you might be eligible for a bonus question. Uh oh. <laughs> 
I know. I know. Don't let the pressure get to you. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be fine. Right. Yeah. I saw the anxiety wash over just a little bit. It's totally cool. <laughs> totally cool. So how do you guys feel in your heart of hearts, right? The, the deep down you, the cockles, if you will. Yes. The, 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 cock, the cockles of your, the cut of your jib, <laughs> right? The underneath of your heart piece. Wow. How do you guys feel about garden gnomes? Mm. Super right. cute, kind of creepy. Super cute, kind of creepy. Okay. I don't get them at all. I don't understand it. What's well, uh? It's a gnome uh, that people put in the garden. I, like, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is great, though. I appreciate that. Sawyer? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. There's something spiritual about them for some reason. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got the full gamut of answers. So, here. It gives eclectic yeah. old person. Eclectic old person. And I love. I love eclectic old person vibes. Person. That's what it gives. It's that that flies into one of our thoughts about the, the subject. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. We have we have a numbering system for for the amount of uh, concern you should have if you're going into an, a, a house and you notice garden gnomes. However many you notice is going to dictate your behavior once you go yeah. in. Uh, one one to four gnomes probably got some stories uh -huh. to talk to. Yeah. Someone to to catch a vibe from. You're like ah. This person's lived some life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four to six. Make sure that you know where the exits are. Mm -hmm. Unlock a window, perhaps, when they're not watching. Yeah. Just kind of be aware of your surroundings. Get a little bit yeah. more, get a little right. bit more Batman at that time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right? Yeah. True. Seven? Seven and above. Mm -hmm. Uh they they represent souls of uh Bodies buried in the basement and in the yard. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's a Gacy porch. Yeah, accurate. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. I love that. Aligned. Mm -hmm. So always count your gnomes before. Always, you always you. count your gnomes. <laughs> yeah, right. Beware of the hidden ones. Usually, also, if you want to get in that house, there's keys under one of those gnomes. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> uh, not that, not that you would ever go into a. If right. you wanted to help, I, I don't know. If you wanted to get in, the, yeah, I don't know. If I don't you're know where stealing you're going from someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> um, well, you guys gave all different answers. They're, I mean, clearly you've hit all the corners. <laughs> yeah, we've we gone everywhere hit, we could right? go. We've gone everywhere mm -hmm. we can go. So, so you definitely get the bonus question. Yeah, I'm not going to sure. tell you on whose answer you caught, you got that that credit yeah. for, but one of you got uh, it, two of you failed. But right. We're, but <laughs> we we we, but we won't go into that. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. We'll never know. So, question number eight is the bonus question. It is a multiple choice. Yeah. And it goes a little something like this. Bacon. Is it a topping? Is it a side? Is it a main course? Main chorus. Mm. Is there not in all of the above? Do we look like real followers to you? Do I have to pick one? No, you don't. I'm going to say so... all of the... I'm going side. I'm going okay. side. Well, one of you once one of again you moves on. Once again, but we're telling the right answer. <laughs> it is all of the above. It's always all of the above. We we live in a world of possibilities, guys. We don't like to put uh, hindrances on anything. I don't. I don't want to be a gatekeeper to people's use of bacon. Mm. We will gatekeep the uh, use of garden gnomes, though. Well, well, yeah. well, we were just counting them. We're just counting them to judge our. That's fair. <laughs> our level of concern. Yeah, have as many gnomes as you like. I'm going to think you're a murderer if there's <laughs> more than <of> seven. <laughs> well, I, I would feel a lot better if they, like, if, if you came into seven garden gnomes, but you didn't purchase them, That's I feel like that's better than, like, you went out of your way to buy seven garden gnomes. That's probably a good question to ask because they've already got stories. So you're, already, you you're already learning a lot. So you mm -hmm. could be like, hey, I happen to notice a copious amount of gnomes in your yard. Mm -hmm. How did you come upon these gnomes and if they're like oh i'm a collector i buy them everywhere you're like all right i'm gonna go yeah gonna see you uh 911 already on my phone yeah yeah, yeah. backing out of the door yeah but if they're like uh you know what everybody gives me these then i'm like you have awesome friends <laughs> yeah yeah i like that and you keep them even better uh we recommend um also to all of our touring band friends 
um, the act of gnoming the other bands on the bill. Hide a, hide a little one in a gear bag, on a pedal board. In the That's kick drum. In the kick drum, if you can get it. I love that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just, in the just somewhere where they'll find it. And you can you can get little ones that all look the same. So when they get rid of it, you just put another one. <laughs> on another day. Keep on putting it back. Yeah. yeah. And just keep putting it back and until they're until they're concerned. Yeah. Usually around seven. Yeah. <laughs> Usually around seven. Yeah. I used to drive one of my coworkers crazy um, by hiding sauce packets on their desk. Oh, I used to do that too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I love yep. the spirit of that. Yes. That's a good one. Um, Once I so, did a mustard packet in the ear cup of his headphones and he didn't realize it until he had gotten all the way home and he wore his headphones on the train that is amazing and yeah. it was just like something's wrong with the left side yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. it sounds saucy it sounds the sense ah. of victory that i felt after finding that out i like that i actually i have a mustard hiding story which we'll get into on the intro of the next of the full on show yeah but right now Listeners, want, you didn't know you'd get some mustard hiding stories, yeah. but that's what's coming. Exactly. On the full episode. So, guys, before we head out here, uh, let everybody know where they can find everything definite, definitely maybe. Well, definitely is a hard word to spell, so no worries there. We have a link tree, link tree slash DM band. Everything is there, but we are super active on TikTok. Instagram, and then we have a website with merch where we list all of our shows as well. So the best place to hear about shows and buy merch is the website, TikTok, and Instagram. And then we're streaming everywhere. So YouTube, Spotify, Apple, all the big ones, um, even the little guys like Deezer and places like that. So definitely, maybe if you can spell it, you will have a great reward. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. It's education important yeah uh so definitely check that out um i don't sleep at night it's out now um mm -hmm. so is a bunch of other stuff so check out everything uh one final question to you guys we we do call this uh what's your bacon and seven questions but it all comes down to one very important question and we like to use bacon we know it can be a topping side or main course right it can be anything so we like to use it also as a metaphor for something that improves your life the way that bacon can improve any plate or any dish that it's on. Ooh. So sometimes it's music for people. Sometimes it's cooking. Sometimes it's uh, going Video to the games. movies. What helps you unwind? What helps you kind of uh, decompress? Um, sometimes for musicians, it's hard for it to be music because it's also what we do, mm -hmm. right? So, so for you guys, what would you say? What is that thing for you? What's your bacon? Nintendo. Playing video games. Nice. Nice. Like Switch or like old school, like you like rocking Switch. an eight bit or N sixty four. Switch for sure. If I could only pick one to play forever, it'd probably be the GameCube, unless I could pick Wii Ooh, because then you nice. can play both Wii games and GameCube games. Right, right. Ooh. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Gentlemen, probably just TV. Honestly, yeah, just un unwinding, watching TV. Any specific genre? Are you into like documentaries? Are you into total trash TV? Are you? Honestly, into... it, it always changes. It kind of just depends on the mood. Um, yeah, reality TV is always fun. Um, yeah, just something a little light, mindless. Nice. Yeah. yeah. For me, uh, besides music, because music is definitely like still that for me, and like playing guitar um, is a big one. But besides that. Um, the channels that I follow on YouTube are big, big ones. Um, I tend to watch videos of like the hobbies that I'm interested in. Um, okay. And music has taken a lot of like my time and energy. Um, and so there's plenty of other things that I normally like doing that I don't get to. Also, just living in the city is is another sort of barrier to that. And so like YouTube is the best way that I get to sort of experience that through somebody else. Um, and so that's a really big one for me. Nice. nice. Well, you'll have to tell us some of those hobbies once we get into the full full chat. But everybody uh, everybody that's listening, remember to go check out Definitely Maybe. And remember to ask yourselves every single day, what's that thing for you? What's that thing that makes your day better? What's that thing that helps you get through it? What's that thing that can be your topping side or main course mm. in your life? Mm. What's your bacon? What's your bacon? Mm. That's awesome. <laughs> 